We've got a few questions then from our Instagram and social followers. Prima fan page wants to know what is your favorite song? Oh, I have no idea to be honest. I can say like my sort of type of music, but I have no idea what my favorite song is to be honest. I, I like sort of before bass, I like some rock or uh, depending on where I start, if I'm starting behind, I would like some rock to get like my hype up. But if I start in the front, I'm sort of more uh, acoustic uh, kind of stuff with some chilled music. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's quite different or or rap or whatever, to be honest, I listen to everything. So is the answer, what is your favorite song is, yes, everything is yes. my favorite song. Yes, a bit of everything. Kaja Warren wants to know, do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. <laughs> no time for that. No, bet. Is there a follow-up question? Do you do you want to have a girlfriend, or like you say, it's just too busy racing? Uh, no, I'm not really looking for that at the moment. Like, I'm not really stressed about that. When it happens, it happens. But for now, I'm focused on uh, my racing. So, I'm gonna break a lot of hearts, Dennis. And she also has a <laughs> follow-up question. She also has a follow-up question, which is: Is your dream to reach F1? I guess the, the caveat to that is, do you have any other things? Like, do you want to win Le Mans? Do you want to go into racing in Porsches, the tin tops like you mentioned? Uh, obviously the goal and the dream now is F1 and that's what I've had to have the focus on. But obviously still the the dream is to live a motorsport and, and have a living of that, um, which is still one of the main goals. Uh, so uh, yeah, living on motorsport, if it's endurance races or whatever, just uh, that I can do what I love. Razor Dalhas, I think it's Dalhas, and apologies if we pronounce that wrong. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, <laughs> hopefully in a F1 seat or uh, in a racing seat where I, where I live on racing. Uh, I think that's one of the main things. And how many world championships will you have by that point? I'm not really thinking that far forward really yet. I take a step by step and, and just uh, try to max maximize where I am now. And then uh, and then I take uh, step by step really, but uh, not really focusing on that yet. So Ed also wants to know your favorite track and the favorite moment of your career so far. Uh, I think my favorite moment would be uh, the triple win in Hockenheim. Uh, which is quite quite rare to happen, and that was really a nice moment with the team and everything. The whole atmosphere was was really good, so I really enjoyed that one. Uh, and the, my favorite track, I would say, either I would say either Mugello, um, Spa, or uh, hopefully Austin. But I haven't been there yet. But it's looking so cool. I will, I will, I will already say it. I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It does look like a fun track to drive. We're almost like your favorite song here. It's just every track is my favorite yeah. track. Yeah, but every every track is different, and it's always different techniques on each track. So it's it, the, each track are a bit special in the end. And T Alba's daily drive. I wants to know, aside from your teammates, which will be your prima teammates this year, who do you think is your closest rival for your championship in 2021? I don't know. I don't really, haven't really focused on that. Just focused on, uh, focused on what I have to do. Not really focusing on the others, to be honest. So <laughs> I won't even answer it. That's that's a cop out of, a, of an answer there, but I'll, I'll let it slide. <laughs> um, Thanks. <laughs> Gareth, my, uh, my co-author at Grand Prix Grandstand, he's got a couple of questions, quick fire as well. What's your preferred driver number? And if you make it into F1, what number would you like to have on your car? Uh, probably 62, which is what I had in F4 as well. 
uh, either 24 or, or 62 because it's uh, the two numbers I started with in, uh, in karting when I was eight. Uh, so that will probably be be my number. Is there any reason why you went for those numbers or was that just what you were assigned when you turned up the karting track? Uh, no, I think I was... Uh, I actually I chose them myself, but I think my father and I was just uh, trying to figure out what's a cool number, and then we were like uh, 24 because because um, uh, we were watching NASCAR, and I was watching NASCAR, and I saw number 24 on uh, Jeff Gordon's car, and uh, and it just looked so cool when I was younger, so so that was sort of my number when I when I got it. Oh, very good. A good uh, a good reason as well. And also wants to know what's your preferred car setup, understeer or oversteer? Oversteer for sure. Is that because of the Scandinavian flick or your ice driving experience? Probably. Or I I, I sort of like a stable car, but it needs rotation. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think probably the oversteer comes from the ice because uh, it's quite a bit sideways there. Just just a little bit sideways. And then <laughs> our final question is from a Pierre-Louis Chauvet who wants to know what are oh, your no. five favourite French words? Oh, no. I think... <laughs> no. Uh, the one I use the most is uh, putain. Obviously, but I don't. <laughs> and then uh, he's also taught me this word, uh, Le Visiteur, which is uh, a movie, a French movie or something. And then uh, Oui, c'est bon. And, uh, and uh, I can't really say more words because he's just <laughs> learned, he's just teach me swear words, so I can't really say anymore. <laughs> but he knows it, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had a suspicion Pierre was going to ask uh, that question for those words. So I'll let you off for the final two. But this has uh, been a great place to, to stop with a little bit of fun. So thank you for joining us in the grandstand. And we really wish you the best for this year. It should be a championship fight. Uh, and hopefully we can do it again later in the season. Yeah, thanks. And thanks a lot for having me. Mm -hmm.